teach your children well. Their father's hell did slowly. That brings me back to the day. For more than 85 years, the students at Deep Springs College have been in charge. The students have been in charge, controlling admissions, discipline, and faculty hiring and firing. Sounds good, perhaps. But campus life in this elite school is harsh. Severe isolation from the outside world. And forget about the party scene. No drugs or alcohol allowed. Not what most freshmen would call utopia. As we wrap up our week-long series on education, Teach Your Children, CNN's Jason Bellini examines this unique academic experience. They quote Camus and wax poetic about land. Labor. We're just in this green spot, and it's maintained by our work. And life. There's a real sense of purpose here. These are not your typical college students, and this is not your typical college. Since its founding in 1917, Deep Springs College, located deep in the California desert, began as an educational experiment, combining intense academics. Is he talking more about sort of you know, an evolutionary social inheritance? With hard labor. The goal is to create something more than a typical college graduate. Every afternoon is full, so I don't have so much free time. Yeah. Um, Enough time to study? Um, <laughs> that depends on how quickly you study. Deep Springs is a two-year college. Most, if not all, students transfer into prestigious four-year institutions, Yale, Harvard, and Cornell, chief among them. Nearly all the students come from privileged backgrounds. When you go home, do you wear your cowboy hat? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've worn it a couple of times, yeah. They chose Deep Springs, they say, to do something real. Gareth Fisher, from upstate New York, is responsible for over 200 head of cattle. This isn't just like, you know, going out, oh, let's go around chasing calf just for the hell of it. That's a potential four, five, six hundred dollar loss if, we, if this, calf, uh, this calf doesn't get brought in. Deep Springs accepts less than 10% of its applicants. It has a student body of 26 students, all of them men. Even though every student has a full scholarship, they pay a good price in many respects to be here, and then they appreciate the rewards that come from, from having contributed to the school. The rewards, they believe, are self-reliance and self-confidence built through self-sacrifice. But there are rigid rules. No alcohol, no drugs, no leaving the ranch. I certainly miss girls. Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. And uh, I, I love the guys who are here. I love, I love the, all the guys here um, most of the time. It's tough to see when you're here, when you're cut off from the outside world. And you're with, you know, these 25 other really high-strung guys who are, you know, all engaged in this crazy project. They don't grow up to be cowboys. Most go on to get MDs, PhDs, and law degrees. But where else, they say, could they learn so much about life? Jason Bellini, CNN, Deep Springs, California.